Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about using twill tape in order to strengthen and stabilize your seam lines. First, we're gonna demonstrate on the neckline and this is gonna help keep the shape of the neckline from distorting or rippling. Then we'll tackle twill tape in the seams, such as in the shoulder seams here. Twill tape will help your seams last longer and keep them from overstretching. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna demonstrate is using twill tape in order to support a neckline. So my example here is going to be a V-neck shape. And when you would use this is if you're using a fabric that's really lightweight, doesn't have a lot of support, and you wanna make sure that your neckline is going to lie flat, it's not gonna get all stretched out because you can see on my V-shape, this part is cut on the bias. So there could be some stretch to it and we don't want it to lose that shape. So the twill tape is gonna help it and then you don't have to worry about your neckline kind of having any gaping areas to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a piece of chalk to draw a line directly on my seam line. And what that means is whatever your seam allowance is, for my case, it's a half inch, I'm gonna draw my line a half inch from the raw edge of the neckline here. So I went ahead and did that. And if you have a different shape neckline, for example, I have this rounded shaped neckline, I would just do the same thing. It's a half inch from the raw edge and that's gonna help prep the area. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some twill tape and I'm using the quarter inch width twill tape. I want something that's gonna be very thin and cut it to fit exactly the length of my neckline. So I'm not doing a little bigger. I'm trying to do the exact length at my fabric at rest. I'm not stretching the fabric at all because we don't want our neckline to stretch at all. And for this particular case, for my V-shape, I'm actually gonna cut two pieces. I'm gonna cut one piece going in this direction, and then I'm gonna cut one piece exactly the same length going in this direction. Just so it's a little bit easier getting around this V-shape instead of just trying to do it one length. Now, if I have a rounded one or a different shape, you could just go ahead and make your twill tape all one piece. You don't have to do it in pieces and it's probably better if you don't. So for this, because the twill tape has some flexibility to it, you can just force it to go around the curve. Now, whenever you get your twill tape cut and you're ready to start placing it on your neckline, I'm just gonna show on half of it first. I'm going to pin the twill tape to my fabric and I'm looking at the wrong side of the fabric here and I'm gonna place it so this chalk line ends up right in the middle of my twill tape. I'm gonna start by pinning the ends. So I'm gonna pin this end. Then I'm going to pin this end down here. Then I'll pin everything in between. So I'm not starting here and working my way this way because that's gonna take a chance that you may kind of alter your neckline a little bit with stretching. Instead, I do both ends and then work my way to the middle. I'm starting at the center of my neckline and then sewing my way towards the shoulder. And I'm making sure that I'm doing back stitching. I'm not stretching anything. And my stitch lengths are a little bit longer than the normal length. So instead of a 2.5, maybe I do a 3.5 and I'm trying to sew directly in the center of this twill tape. If you do this, then you don't have to worry about doing any stay stitching if your pattern asks for it. After I sew this down, if I have any other areas that I need to support, such as the other side of my neckline, I can go ahead and repeat the process doing the same thing over here. Now, it'd probably be best if these sections actually overlap. The twill tape is not that thick, so it's not really gonna cause that much bulkiness. So I'm gonna do the same thing and go ahead and sew this section down as well. Here's what my neckline looks like at this point. So this is done towards the beginning of the process. So you would do it after you cut out your pattern pieces out of your fabric, about the time you would do the stay stitching. When it gets to this point, you're gonna treat it as you would any other neckline. So when you get to that point of your project when you need to add bias tape or put a facing on it or something like that, then you just treat it as normal. We're gonna move on now and talk about putting twill tape into seams like your shoulder seam. Now, especially with tank tops and t-shirts, the shoulder seam can become stretched out, so we don't want that to happen, and by putting twill tape here, that's gonna solve the problem. 
Now what I'm looking at is the wrong side of the back of my tank top to use as an example. And you'll see I still have my line here from my previous demonstration, but we're just going to ignore that because I don't want there to be too much tool tape that you get confused. So we're just applying it to the shoulder area or whatever seam you want to do it to. And it starts off the same. So I'm going to be placing my chalk line at the seam line. So for me, that's a half inch from the raw edge and then I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to cut a piece of tool tape that's going to be the exact length of that. You're going to place it so the line ends up right in the middle of your tool tape. You're going to pin it into place starting at the ends and then working your way in. We're going to do the same thing over here. And then you're going to stitch right in the middle of the tool tape. So it's going to be right on that seam line. Again, you're doing a little bit of a longer stitch. And I want to point out that I'm not actually sewing my tank top to anything. This is just a preparation. So I'm just sewing the tool tape to the back piece of the tank top only. And then once you have that stitched down, then we can move on to actually attaching this to the front tank top. When you're ready to sew your shoulder seams together, you're going to place back to front, right side to right side. And again, this tool tape is only on the back. I'm not placing it on the front shoulder at all. You only need it on one side. I'm going to match up my shoulder seams and then I'm just going to go ahead and stitch my normal seam allowance. And since it's supposed to be a half inch, it should fall right on my original line for sewing on my tool tape there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and that should be it. After I create my seam, I can either do one or two things. I can press my seam open and by doing so, you'll see that this tool tape is hidden by the seam being pressed open. Or on this example over here, I trim my seam so it's about a quarter of an inch. Let me show you this way, it's a little bit easier to see. Then I did an overcast stitch, so that's finishing my edge, in which case the seams, the seam allowance is sewn together and you always press that going towards the back of the garment. So even though it's pressed towards the back, this again is going to be hidden underneath that seam allowance. So it's still going to look nice and neat on the inside and you don't have to worry about seeing that twill tape. So I would definitely recommend this technique to add to any seam where you want minimum stretch, but you also want to add strength and durability to that seam. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.